I would now like to show you some advanced features in the action screen. If you are participating in this lesson, you probably already created some actions. So let's start by selecting an action. When you press an action, a pop-up menu will appear with four options. Edit lets you modify the action. You can track most of the changes you did inside the action by pressing the advanced button. Duplicate. This lets you make one or more copies of the action. If you select duplicate, a sub menu will appear with three options, original, today and periodic. Original will copy the action as it is. Today will copy the action but change the date to today. This is an easy way to enter a new action. Just copy an old action with the same categories and then change the amount. Periodic will open a new screen and let you enter an action that repeats itself. For example, mortgage, rent and so on. The last two options that appear when you select an action are share and delete. Delete will erase the action. Share is one of the most fun and cool options in hand wallet that I love the most. It lets you share an action to Facebook, Twitter and other social networks. So if for example you buy something very nice such as new shoes or a dress, or maybe even a new smartphone, you can take some pictures of it using the advance button inside the action and then spread it to all of your friends. This is also really good if you found a great deal or if something interesting happened during the purchase or even if you just want to consult or get advice. One more interesting thing in the action screen is a small filter at the bottom of the screen. This filter will let you only see part of the actions for example, only actions from a specific category. There are more than 10 parameters that you can use to filter your actions. You can also combine two more filters together, for example, see only actions done by a specific account and related to a specific project. Another cool feature in the action screen is the currency view. You can see your expense, for example, in any currency that you want. Thus, if you are abroad, you can see your expenses in your regular currency. This is really helpful that you don't need to calculate how much everything costs. And the exchange rates will update automatically if you have an internet connection. The last thing I want to show you is how to control what you see in the action screen. Just press the menu button at the bottom of your device and then options. Then select view fields and there you can choose more than 20 types of fields, the categories of the action, the description, the person or projects involved on each action and so on. If you are not sure what the fields are, press the help or create a new action and go to the advanced section. I'll guide you there.